Hello everyone, this is Everton Wilson. Welcome back to ETV, Patience of the Saints. And I just wanted to get into a wonderful topic called or titled, Love Thy Neighbor. And even just thinking about that, loving thy neighbor, treating others how you would like to be treated. Many people don't know exactly how to truly love and what love is. But we're gonna find out briefly from the Bible what love truly is and who love is all right just like the past is coming right now to the present where there was evil in the world in the past just like there's evil in the world right now the love of many is waxing cold and we need a solution we need Jesus let's pray dear Heavenly Father we thank you for another opportunity to come to you in your word. I'm praying right now as we discuss what love is, how to love thy neighbor. We are living in a dark, cold, wicked world, a world with full of restrictions, liberties are being taken away. We see also that many people are killing others. We see the lawlessness in the world and the world needs a solution they need an answer and that's Christ so please speak to me speak through me speak to all of us who are viewing how to truly love God and how to love our fellow brothers and sisters on this earth speak to us right now in Jesus name we pray amen all right I want to get into this um, loving thy neighbor and we're gonna talk briefly as we go through the Bible text what this truly is about. So we're gonna start with the book of John chapter 13, verse 34. And it says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. So we see this is Jesus talking. He's talking to his disciples. Actually, he's talking to us as well. And Jesus is teaching the principle of true love, true conversion. All right, so this is not just in word, but love is an action, okay? God wants us to love not just word, but also in deed. He wants us to have the character, his character, true love. And just notice the word that says, a new commandment I give unto you. Many people believe that this was something new that Jesus talked about, that this was never discussed or um, this was a new presentation he was giving. Yes, he was presenting himself because Jesus was there. But history repeats itself and the Bible also shows in the Old Testament the same words or commands given. We're going to get into that. First John chapter 4, verse 19 to 21, it says, First John, for those who are taking notes, Chapter 4, verse 19 to 21. And it says, we love him. Why? Because he first loved us. And that's talking about Christ. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him. Listen to this. That he who loveth God love his brother also. So you see that. So us even Christians or even non-believers who show love to others, it's a beautiful thing. But God is showing us a principle here. To love God, we have to love him supremely. But we cannot say we love God and treat each other disrespectfully, rudely, harshly. So God wants us to love him and to love each other. But we have to have the love of God in us. Let's take a look at 1 Peter chapter 4, 8 to 9. We need the Holy Spirit, saints. And for those who are listening and those who are watching, we need God's help. And it says in 1 Peter chapter 4, 8 to 9, it says, And above all things, have fervent charity 
among yourselves, charity. That's a word that means it's, it's a godly kind of love. It's a love that we just don't have naturally. This is love that Christ displayed, unselfish. He was not about self. He was not about just pleasing himself. Jesus lived a life of self-denial. So this charity, just like he died for us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the love. This is that charity that is talked about in this verse. Okay? He gave all just to save mankind. The verse continues. It says, For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So if we have perfect love for God and for others, it will cover the sins that we commit. So when we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. So if we lie or cheat or steal, we have to confess. But as we show love to others, as we show kindness to others, not only will it soften our hearts, but it will soften the heart of the individual that did us wrong. So if someone did us wrong and we still show that love towards them, they will see something in us and they will want to know who or which God we serve. Praise the Lord. Verse 9 says, Use hospitality one to another without grudging. No complaints. So show kindness regardless. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 39. And this is what Jesus says. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and this is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself so you see here god is talking about two commandments and when many many people read this verse they're saying the ten commandments is done away with we no longer have to keep the ten commandments Remember, Jesus wrote the Ten Commandments with his finger. The Ten Commandments is a reflection of the character of God. Okay? We're going to get into it because it says, when we read earlier, a new commandment I give unto you. And these are the two commandments that he was referring to. Is it truly a new commandment as far as these people never heard of it before? We're going to take a look at the Bible and see what the Bible says. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5 and 6. Let's see what Deuteronomy says. So in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5 and 6, it says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. So you see here, right in the Old Testament, this was repeated already. Deuteronomy actually means the repeating of the law. So we see here the Old Testament, the New Testament, it comes together. It's in harmony. So we can't have the Old Testament without the New Testament. All right. Now, what about the second commandment? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Is this new? Let's take a look in Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 18. And it says in Leviticus 19, 18, it says, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. I am whose I am? That's Jesus Christ himself. I am the Lord. So Jesus is telling the people, his, his children, his people, to love others, to love your neighbor as thyself. Just like in the New Testament, He's just repeating what he already said. So we see that the issue was people were not converted. In the New Testament, the scribes and the Pharisees, the religious leaders, they were callous. They were making up all these different rules and, and all these different laws that God did not condone. They were not showing love to their neighbors. They were not showing love to God. And Jesus came on the scene to exemplify, to magnify the law, to show that God's law is honorable. He made it honorable. He revealed the character of 
of God, the true character of God. We're going to read a brief reading from the book, Counsels to Parents, Teachers, and Students. And this is in the chapter, Unselfish Service, the Law of Heaven. Beautiful, beautiful reading. It says, love, the basis of creation and of redemption, is the basis of true education. This is made plain in the law that God has given as a guide of life. The first and great commandment is, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. So we see another reference. To love him, the infinite, the omniscient one, all-knowing, with the whole strength and mind and heart, means the highest developments of every power. It means that in the whole being, the body, the mind, as well as the soul, the image of God is to be restored. So we see man was made in whose image? Was made in God's image. So Adam and Eve at one point had perfect love, just like God. Now it continue, continues on by saying, Like the first is the second commandment. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And that's taken from the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 31. The law of love calls for the devotion of body, mind, and soul to the service of God and our fellow man. Now we see Christ, he showed unselfish love. He came to serve others. He came to show others how to truly be a follower of Christ. He even washed the disciples' feet. He paved the way, setting an example, a perfect example for us to follow. And even today, we must follow Christ's perfect example. It says, And this service, while making us a blessing to others, selflessness, brings the greatest blessings to ourselves. So it helps us when we show kindness towards others. It also helps us develop Christ-like character. Now listen to this unselfishness underlies all true development through unselfish service we receive the highest culture of every faculty hey amen i mean this is beautiful so god is teaching us how to truly love others there's so many things that we can mention from the bible and even personal experience of how this works this principle of showing love to others, even showing love to our so-called enemies, those who may not like us, even for just sharing the word of God or even our faith, or maybe even the way we look, we're going to be discriminated against. But remember, we're all one human race, one race, many colors. And Pastor Ivy Myers made that plain and clear in his study. If you can check him out, Pastor Ivor Myers. One race, many colors. So we need to, in these last days, with all the COVID-19, all the restrictions and the protests and everything going on in this world, we see the wickedness going on in the world. We know that the enemies behind all this, whether people believe it or not, there's spiritual forces, spiritual wickedness in high places. But we know greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. May we love serve and care for one another because Jesus is and will come shortly. May we be ready and may we be found loving others as ourselves. God bless you all. Stay tuned to the next video. ETV, Patience of the Saints. God bless.